Located just outside of Fallon, Nevada, the oasis of Nevada, lies in a state distillery that produces some of the finest spirits in the country. That distillery is the Frey Ranch. My family's been farming in Nevada since the 1850s, and we've carried that knowledge on to create the best quality ingredients for the distillery. It's unlike any other distillery in the world because we grow all of our own ingredients. We grow wheat, rye, barley, and corn right here on the farm. We take that grain, we store it in silos, we mill it on site, we mash it, ferment it, distill it, barrel it, age it, and bottle it all right here. We have total control over the entire process from ground to glass. Here at the Frey Ranch, nothing is wasted. We take the grain after the alcohol is distilled out and we feed it to dairy cows. We take the liquids and we put it on the fields as fertilizer. Then we take the manure from the dairy, bring it back to the fields and use that as fertilizer. We wanna be unique and create Nevada-based products. Our gin is made with Rocky Mountain juniper berries grown right on the ranch, sagebrush grown right on the ranch, and it's a true local Nevada Fallon product, and it tastes like a rainy Nevada day. We're in the malt house right now, and this is what sets us apart from most distilleries, is we malt our own grain. We malt corn, wheat, rye, and barley. First, we put the grain in the steep tank. We're using air to lift the grain very gently. Then it hits the top of this hat, falls down. All of the viable seed sinks. Then the unviable seed, the seed that won't germinate, floats to the top. So here's an example of that. It's an unviable seed, it floats. So what we're doing is three things. We're cleaning it, hydrating it, and oxygenating the grain. Then we put it inside the malting drum. What the malting drum does, it creates the ideal germinating conditions for the grain. Today we're malting corn. What's happening is the corn is germinating right now. So if you look at it, it's getting a little rootlet and it's growing inside the malt drum. We can create the ideal germinating conditions by adding heat, moisture, we can circulate air, and we can also dry it. So in a couple days when these rootlets get a little bigger, we'll turn on the heater and dry the grain and get the grain very dry to stop any future growth so that then we can mill it and distill it into whiskey. After the grains are milled, we bring them in here to the fermentation room into the mash cooker and we cook the grains. Grains have a lot of starch. Starch is a long sugar molecule. So by cooking the grains, we actually break that starch into fermentable sugars. Then we pump them to the fermenters where we add yeast. The yeast converts this fermentable sugar into alcohol during the fermentation process. Then we have something we can take to the still and distill out the alcohol. We're making Frey Ranch bourbon today. What we're doing is we're pumping in mash into the top side of the still, and it's falling through trays inside this column. Then we're injecting steam at the bottom. The steam heats up the mash. The alcohol inside the mash travels up to the top of the still, goes through a series of condensers, and comes out continuously. As long as we're pumping in mash at the top and steam at the bottom, we get out alcohol nonstop. So it's coming out right over here. This is a hydrometer, and the hydrometer tells us the proof of the alcohol. And it's currently coming out at about 80 proof and 40% alcohol. Besides bourbon, we also make several other products, including vodka, gin, absinthe, and several other whiskeys. What we do is we take the product after it comes off the continuous still, we put it in the pot still, and we redistill it in the pot still. It's a, it's a different operation altogether. Now for making vodkas, the definition of vodka is it has to be 95% alcohol or more. What this is is a high proofing column and we call it the vodka column and we redirect all the steam off the still through this column and we can get high proof alcohol, which is considered vodka. Now for making gins, we take vodka, 
we put it in the pot still, and we redistill it in the pot still with different botanicals, including juniper berries grown right here on the farm and sagebrush grown right here on the farm. After the whiskey's distilled, it's proof to 120 proof, put into barrels, and then brought here into the barrel house. The barrel house is really unique. It's unheated and unair conditioned. We actually want the whiskey to go through the seasons so that it expands during the hot summers and contracts during the cold winters. So it'll rest here for four years or more before it's bottled. The barrel house here at Frey Ranch has the capability of storing 1,456 full-size whiskey barrels. That's over a half million bottles depending on the angel's share, which is the amount that evaporates out. The Frey Ranch is open every Saturday from 12 to 4. We have free tours and tastings. We'd love to have you come.